Today I'm getting prepped to go on a trip out west to Nevada to shoot landscapes. And so I wanted to invite you all along to kind of think about what I was gonna bring with me on this trip. Let's get started. First up is the A7CR. It's a camera I got to use at Condo just a couple of weeks ago. I fell in love with it because of its lack of size. Uh, it's actually got a little grip on it that's kind of cool. It's not available yet, but they're going to be coming out when these cameras start shipping. Uh, this is a 660 megapixel camera. It is a phenomenal piece of equipment. I knew I was going to be doing this trip out west to Nevada to the Valley of Fire. And so I've selected this as my camera. It has a 256 gigabyte card in it. It's an SD card. This does not take the new CFA cards, um, but that's okay. Um, so I've got a 256 gig card. That way I can shoot video all I want. I can shoot stills and even with the big files, it doesn't matter. Second thing I'm taking is the wide lens. Now this is uh, not as popular as the GM, the new GM2. This is a 16 to 35G lens. This is a PZ lens. And it has a really neat attribute that I really like. Um, you can probably already tell I'm taking this the 7200 f4 macro the G lens the brand new one uh, that I got to test with is awesome so I've gone from 16 to 35 and then I jump from 35 millimeter all the way to 70 like that's a big gap right except that when you're using the PZ lens uh, all you do is put it on the body on the a7r a7cr and when you hit the limit of the optical zoom it will continue zooming uh, in clear image zoom. It's really cool. So I'm gonna kind of utilize that feature, see how that works, uh, see what I can get away with. I think I'll be able to get with murder with a 60 megabyte file. So um, I already kind of talked about this, but this gives me extreme macro. Case. The two lenses are extremely lightweight. They weigh nothing. They're super, super like tiny. They pack easy. I'm a cheapskate, so I'm flying out there on Allegiant Airlines, which means I only have a backpack with me. So I'm gonna put all this stuff in my backpack with my clothing I need for four days and I'm gonna head out. The other thing that I love about these two lenses together is they both have a 72 millimeter filter. And I'm gonna be bringing with me a filter holder with a 72 millimeter step down ring. In here I've got a graduated tobacco and a graduated blue filter, which I may or may not use, but depending on how it's out there. I'm also going to bring with me a 77 millimeter um, ND filter. This is a HGX Prime. It's a Promat. Promaster is a brand that's in like most camera shops. And for the last 20 years, it's kind of been low rent stuff, but they have this H HGX Prime series of filters that are really, really top flight. Um, this one is 200 bucks. I got this from Bedford's in uh, Arkansas. Um, but this is a 1.3 to 8 stop uh, variable ND filter. So if I get around water or if I want to do some time lapse uh, with a tripod, um, I can pull that out and kind of do some stuff that way. So this is my kit that I'm going with. I'm, I'm my, my only goal is to go every day like a National Geographic photographer. I'm going to get up before dawn, be out there. Uh, shooting when the light is really good. When the light goes, I'm going to go back. But anyway, when I get back, I'm going to do a big video on my experience out there. I'll talk to you about whether I had any regrets about taking all this stuff. Oh yeah, I forgot about to talk about this too. Um, I'm bringing the Westcott FJ80 Mark II flash with me. You might think, you're going to do landscapes. What are you going to do with that? Well, I'm going to bring a trigger uh, that will set this off, and uh, I'm going to have a small light bank with me. And I may try to shoot some flowers if I can find some. I may do some macro work and I may want to add the, uh, the uh, light to that and do like a double exposure with high speed sync. I don't know. I'm just going to do it and try it and see how it goes. But I'm excited. I can't wait. This is kind of a working vacation for me. I'm going out there with the sole purpose of shooting landscape by myself. I'm not doing this with anybody else. I'm just going out there to have some solitary time in the desert make some pictures, and along the way, I'm gonna be trying to figure out what kind of workshop I could do in the Valley of Fire, probably in January. So stay tuned for that. Thanks so much for watching. It's Pat Murphy Racy. If you found this helpful, please subscribe. Thanks.